feet. You have to sit up a little more because last time you, I looked so much taller than you because I sit up straight. But we don't sit like this normally. Yeah. I just record us. Okay. Like this. That's <laughs> fine. I'll sit up. So I'll sit up more proper. Why sit. are you hot? I'll sit up more proper. He looks so good. All right, you ready? He's really, really handsome. Welcome back to Marriage Monday. We're so excited for you to join us back. We're sitting in front of the fireplace. Actually, Kayla didn't want to get away from the fireplace earlier, so I had to make her come sit down. So that's our marriage today is just yell at your wife <laughs> and she'll do what you want. <laughs> Well, today our tip is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be something that that my wife introduced. So where did you find this idea? Okay, yeah. So I have a friend that I work with. Her name is Emily. Hi, Emily. And um, I went to her house. I think maybe she had had a baby and I brought her dinner and I had seen it on her counter. And I loved it so much that I asked her to make me one. And we've had it for years now. All right, so what it is, it's a picture frame. And on it says, I love you because... And yeah. then there's a space to write. Yes, yeah, so you just buy a plain picture frame and I printed it out on just like some stationary like uh, printed paper, but you could print it out on white paper or whatever. And it just says, I love you because dot, dot, dot. And then there's a space underneath where you can write with a um, dry erase marker right. on the glass. Not a Sharpie, dry erase. So here's what it looks like. Again, normal picture frame that I made. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Normal picture frame that we bought. And it just says, I love you because, and you write. And this is the last thing that Kayla wrote for me. She's better at this than I am, is um, I was talking about this 30 day challenge of filming a video every day. And it was interfering with my family time at first because you got to find a routine. And so we had a discussion about it, AKA a disagreement. And what? Nothing. And so she wrote this on the board the next day when I saw it when I got home, I was almost in tears because saying that she uh, oh, believes on me, believes in me, and it says you're, you can't read that. It says you are motivated and you don't give up. And so of course I'm gonna finish the 30 day challenge because my wife just told me that. Sometimes what I, I think that what this has done mainly in my life is on days that we aren't seeing eye to eye, or maybe I'm not happy with him, or we're just like rubbing each other the wrong way, or just not clicking. I make myself write something on here um, because there's even when I'm mad at you, there's always something that I love about him. So I I try to find something small, even if it's just like I love you because you go to work and provide for our family. Right. Like I some I make myself find something that day that I appreciate about you, and I write right. it down because I feel like that. Um, causes me to think about all the things that I love about you, and I think right. it brings us together. And Absolutely. We even um, printed this out for our small group last semester. Yeah, I printed semesters. out like 13 of them. Yeah, and so we gave these to all our married couples in our group because we have a married group. Yeah. Some single people come. Um, but so what I figured is I was going to write on this board, and so I'm going to write <laughs> on the board what I was going to write on the board for you. So is it okay if we share publicly? <laughs> I won't be naughty in this one, I promise. I'll, I'll just keep it. Yeah, sometimes they're... They're fun. No one, inappropriate. That, yeah, so we don't keep this. That's a good idea. We don't keep this in our like living the, room. In the kitchen. <laughs> or the kitchen. This stays in our bedroom. And um, so we can always look at it. So be thinking. You're writing one for me, too, on right camera. Right now? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to write... Well, it's an easy weekend coming off of an easy weekend to write something nice to you. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Let's see, this is her first reaction to what I just wrote. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, babe. You can't see it. <laughs> don't, my handwriting's terrible. Can you zoom in? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so it says, I love you because you are a finisher. Kayla did a half marathon um, yesterday with our friend Jen. And so um, she called me or texted me during, say that she was a little far behind and that she doesn't think she can do it. And she finished, she finished strong. So. Babe, you're a finisher because you were determined. Okay, my turn. <laughs> I love how you're making me write something for you. Of course. I'll rewrite that one so you can have you it for need, a long time. You need affirmation. <laughs> yes. So many things to write. I'm almost done. <laughs> Did you just look at your watch? <laughs> my wrist. I looked at, I don't have a watch. 
Make sure I'm like grammatically Okay, perfect. so I want you to read it to me in a good voice. <laughs> no, you You're didn't right. read it to me. I love you because you spent your whole weekend being my cheerleader. I did. Which is actually really hard for you. It very much is. And that's never... right. That's going to be an episode okay. where we talk about how we can support each other. But yeah. we can say it is I've never not been the one competing. And I was the guy on the sidelines heckling the other runners, which you should see the video on that. <laughs> so I had to sit on the sidelines and I'm not a good cheerleader if I'm not the one playing. And so thank you so some examples if you're if your spouse is struggling with something you can be an encourager about yeah. that if um you need to spice things up you can write some yes. for the bedroom only type yeah. of messages in there and maybe even hide it underneath the pillow so she sees it yeah and like no i one love else. you because when you do this it makes me yeah. happy or whatever yeah that kind of stuff so sometimes if i clean the house like really good <laughs> birdie will write like you make you know you make our house peaceful right for my birthday and like Mother's Day and stuff, he'll get the boys to write little notes on there for me too, so it's sweet. Yeah. So again, easy tip, easy to do. Let us know um, what you, if you have any little tips like this that some people can copy and um, yeah. join in with you. So that's it for Marriage Tip Monday. We will see you next time.